Okay guys, I guess this will be the second video on the Unilum Bearcat BCT-8. Uh, before the last video we done an inside and out video. So today, uh, what I'm going to do is do the BCT-8 firmware upgrade and reband of this uh, scanner. Um, I haven't done a firmware update on a scanner before, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to turn out. Uh, hopefully it's going to turn out correctly. and. I won't brick this scanner, but we'll see how that works. But uh, in any event, there's two programs that you have to download in order to do the firmware upgrade on this scanner. So if you're interested in seeing how this is done and seeing if it actually works, uh, by all means, hang around. And again, this is the firmware upgrade for the Unit in Bearcat, Trunk Tracker 3. BCT-8. I know there's another version of the BCT-8. It's called, a, I believe it's the UBCT-8. This firmware upgrade is only for the BCT-8 scanner. So any other version, I'm pretty sure this firmware will not work and you'll end up bricking your scanner. So again, this is the firmware upgrade for Unit and Bearcat BCT-8 scanner only. Okay, so first you need to go to the uh, uh, Unit and uh, Firmware webpage for this one, for the BCT-8 firmware update. Uh, this one is dated February 9th, 2009. So the two programs, well the program you're going to need is called the BC, uh, BC uh, VUP V2007 zip so you download that onto your computer and you run the program and install it on your computer then once that's installed then you need to uh, download the update the firmware update itself the file which is pct8 version 1.60.zip and you save that to computer and then well basically you run your program, install it, and then you open your uh, file to install it on your pager, on your on your scanner. So with uh, this one, I've already got everything installed on my computer. Um, so ready, Windows installed. You should have this icon on your screen. I'm running Windows 98, so you run the program. This will pop up. So then your BCTUP firmware update loader version 2.007. Press OK. Then basically go to wherever the file is located on your computer, which case is on my desktop. And the actual program for the file would be BCDA version 9160. So you open this. Now what you do, you get this little splash screen. So in order to update your firmware, you have to turn your radio off. You have to press three buttons, which is private, lockout, and number six. Then you turn your scanner on. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so we turn off the scanner. So we press private, lockout, and the six key. Basically when this works, the scanner should, the screen, the LCD screen should be blank. There we go. As you can see, she's now blank. So now we're going back to the program and we're going to press uh, OK. About over here. So basically, this is either going to work or my scanner is going to turn into a paperweight. In any event, let's see what happens here. Uh, warning, do not unplug the AC adapter while updating the firmware. Update complete is shown when the update finishes normally. Update is not completed if an error message appears or cancel is pressed on the PC during the update process. 
unplug the ACD or the AC adapter and start from step one again. And anyways, let's press OK and see what happens. Fingers crossed. Com one. Start updating. Here we go. So we're now updating the firmware. What a time for the power to go out. <laughs> I'm going to keep recording this so you can see the whole thing actually happening. And as she's updating, you see that the scanner has nothing on the screen here. Absolutely nothing. So you don't know you're actually updating, unless, of course, you've got the, uh, the program running here. Just the legs on my tripod, I'm just pu pushing up during the way. But, uh, yep. Again, this is on a unit in BCT8 scanner only. The firmware update. And I'm hoping this is not going to brick my scanner because that would suck a royal ass. <laughs> And we're updating the firmware. Update was complete. Turn off the power. Remove the program cable. So we'll turn off the scanner. We'll unplug the serial cable from the back of the computer. We'll press OK. That program completely goes away. So now, <laughs> let's see. Hopefully, we'll see frequencies on this screen. If we see frequencies, we're good. If we see anything other than that, then I've just pricked the scanner. Fingers crossed. Yes! Firmware has been. Um, Updated, thank God. <laughs> so now, um, to check if you have it actually updated, uh, I believe you can press your trunk button. Go to one, and you should be able to go up and see. E2, let me see, E1 custom, I believe, E2 custom, there you go. If you have E2 custom on your screen, then your uh, firmware update has been done and running properly. Thank God. <laughs> anyway, folks, that was a bit of a funny little video there, but uh, I figured you guys be... Uh, Interesting, interested in uh, hearing about that. And in the meantime, you don't lose any frequencies in your previous banks and do your firmware update. It's the way it should be. So there we go. The scanner has been updated to the newest firmware that uh, bear that unit then has at the moment for the BCT8. Anyways. Hope this video was of use to you guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Again, this firmware update is only for the Uniden uh, Trunk Tracker 3 BCT8.
No other version scanner. This is only for the BCT8 scanner. All right, boys. All the best. Seven, three. Thank you.